If you're a big fan of the San Diego County Fair, right now you may be standing on shaky ground. This afternoon, the fair says it's going to try to make it happen, but earlier today it threatened to cancel the entire event. Good afternoon. Welcome to the four. I'm Heather Myers. I'm Carla Cicchetto. It's all over a lawsuit that's over who can run the midway rides and games. Now both sides say they are going to try and work it out. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from Del Mar. What an up and down day, Kelly. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of back and forth going on in the courtroom today, but the bottom line is if you like going to the fair, if you're planning to go on to the fair this year, uh, the board president here at the fairground said today they're going to try to make sure that the fair goes on as scheduled. Take a listen. I want to assure everyone that we're doing everything possible to preserve a full uh, carnival midway at the fair. Uh, we must ensure that whatever solution we come up with is fair <coughs> and equitable and complies with the law. And so the lawsuit centers around the midway portion of the fair, where there are all the games, the rides, some of the food vendors. Tally Amusement sued, claiming there's favoritism and unfair practices going on when it comes to the bidding process on these multi-million dollar contracts. The judge said today, based on the evidence presented so far, he says Tally has a case. So even though the agency that puts on the fair argued to the judge, time is of the essence, uh, the fair is just a few months away, let us go forward with the company we chose, Ray Kamek shows, let us put on the fair as we had planned, and we're going to deal with this legal battle later. The judge said no. He said the attorney for Tally Amusements has shown the court credible evidence. Now here's what the attorney or that attorney I should say uh, told reporters. Yes, I think our legal position was vindicated. Uh, I think the evidence as the court indicated was pretty persuasive that something very wrong has happened out at the 22nd Agricultural District. But that doesn't mean Tally's not going to work as the judge indicated to make sure that a fair happens. Yeah, and so what happens next? Well, as you heard him say, both sides say that they're going to come together and try to reach an agreement, at least for this year's fair. However, the board president here uh, at the fairgrounds made it clear today, as far as the legal battle goes, they will be filing an appeal. Carlo and, Ke or Carlo and Heather. Yeah, Kelly, does this affect other aspects of the fair as well, things like the concerts? Uh, as from my understanding, this lawsuit's focus is just on the Midway area. As for the concerts, uh, the livestock shows, those are all supposed to go on as scheduled. Uh, as the judge put it today, you know, there's a lot of money at stake with this uh, entire event. Come together, figure this out, make sure this fair happens. All right, a lot at stake and a lot of people want to get back to normal this summer, Kelly. So hopefully they'll uh, resolve it all, at least for this year. Kelly Hassett, all reporting live. Thanks, Kelly.